Hey guys, I Horror Movies here, and welcome to episode 7 of my weekly shoutout series. Today I'm giving a shoutout to my friend Ryzen010. Ryzen, like many other people on YouTube, is also a Let's Player, and a very good one at that. So, with that little quick intro, let's go ahead and show off his channel info. Ryzen joined YouTube back in September 2nd, 2008, and he is, again, an LPR like lots of people on YouTube. Ryzen's current LP is Wild Arms 3. We'll be done once hiatus is over. I actually was looking over that a minute ago. Your hiatus needs to end, like, now, because I really want to see you do Wild Arms 3. And for what I've seen, there's not too many LPs in that game at all, actually. Although I haven't really looked, but um, I still, an LP of Wild Arms 3 would be amazing. So, yeah, hurry up on your hiatus, everybody. Okay, also, <clears throat> next LP is Grandio, the first Grandio game, the first test run's been started. Uh, Summoner have not played that nor heard of it, but I'm sure it'll be great all the, all the same. First test, one, first test one started there. Persona 3 FES in progress. Odin Sphere in progress. Kingdom Hearts in progress. And wow, um, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that. I'm sure it's a great game, all the same, all the, all the same, of course. But I'm not gonna try to pronounce that. So <laughs> anyway, co-op LP of Tales of the Abyss. We'll resume once hiatus is over. And as, as completed LPs, a very good list of games already. Chrono Trigger, Earthbound, Link to the Past, Shadowrun, Wild Arms 2, which is very very good, by the way. My personal favorite LP if is also, and Metal Gear Solid. Let's see a shit. Yeah, there's um, a hiatus, a hiatus right there. I would hope he comes back soon, as I miss watching his videos. Yeah, tells of the abyss will be returning soon. I'll upload two a week once I return from hiatus. Fantastic. You can also expect v videos for the various RPGs I've worked on to continue once I return from hiatus. And please follow these rules. I do like that he actually has channel rules, so it's like a no nonsense crap or whatever. Like no, uh, no first comments, no trolling, flaming, stupid crap like that. I do like that because you have know, people all the time will do stupid shit like that anyway. So, yeah, it's a good call that he has that there. Alright, then, let's see. I also made a backup channel. I should be subbed to that one, actually. Uh, Ryzen101. <laughs> nice name change there. Alright, then. So, let's see here. A pretty basic channel, really. But a very, very good old piece. And he deserves more attention as well. And on the lines of attention, let's go ahead and uh, watch his very first video. Yeah, at this point, yeah, he's uploaded quite a handful of videos, if I remember correctly. So, let's see here. Yeah, donation link removed. That's a week ago. So let's see, let's scroll all the way down through here. I'll move the window down a little bit. Uh, there we go. Alright then, and load more. Alrighty then, let's see. Yeah, Wild Arms 2, an 8 part finale. Didn't really, I forgot it was that long, but I haven't beaten Wild Arms 2 for a while, actually. I definitely plan on doing an LP of that game in the future, anyway. That's actually, uh, from what I remember, pretty high up on my consideration, on a consideration list, but my uh, future list, actually. So yeah, I can't wait until I start doing that one. That's going to be a very fun LP. Although, the only thing, I have yet to beat, um, Radio Radla and, um, Andrew Moa in that game. It's something I need to do first. So, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Should be interesting. But that won't be for quite a while yet, so don't worry about it. Yeah, he's uploaded a crap ton of videos over the years. And, of course, that, yeah, a lot of videos, of, of course. So, let's see. Getting all the way back to the beginning of Modern's 2 LP. Yeah, this is when I actually first found out about you anyway, when you were doing Wild Arms 2, that's how I found out about you. And yeah, from there I branched down to watching other videos, and I was very, very impressed, so... There you go. Alrighty, back to Chrono Trigger. Missed my LP of that game, actually. I still should do the other endings, but I haven't gotten around to that yet, and I probably won't, actually. I just want to call it an LP, I just, I just call it an LP and just be done with it, so... Let's see here, you should be getting back to the beginning of his videos, shortly. Yeah, I realized you uploaded a lot of videos, Ryzen. I didn't know it was this much. Okay, here we go. Let's play Earthbound Zero. Questions. Let's go ahead and do a quick tune in. Yeah, Earthbound, very, very good game. I remember playing it on my stream before. I haven't played it for a little while. And, uh, holy crap. Um, no, there you go. Okay, sorry about that. I'm not really sure what that was. Uh, computer freaking out right now. Okay, um, computer. No. No. Oh, God. Okay, no. Up. Uh, Hello, this is Ryzen, and welcome to a special preview episode of my very first LP series, Earthbound. I am really looking forward to this. Now, I just love... Ah, stupid buffer. Ah, I ran with the buffer for a little bit. But yeah, right off the bat, very good voice, not annoying to listen to, <coughs> draws your attention immediately. And you already see that he has good quality as well. And I'm sure he's picked up, he picked up a better microphone over the years as well, so I just want to mention that real quick. Yeah, again, just like with the last week of the Sutagen, for your very first LP video, is very, very well done. I do like it's wider screen, so it covers more of the empty black space there. And also, very, very good quality as well. Look at this. 
And also, yeah, I just love, I love this game. It's one of my absolute favorite Super Nintendo RPGs. I mean, maybe not as, as... Well, I don't like it as much as, you know, Final Fantasy IV. That's the original Final Fantasy IV. Not later known as... Better known as Final Fantasy II in America. For some... Okay, I, I don't feel like dealing with the buffering, to be honest, but... There you go, your very first LP video is very, very well done. So props to you on that. And yeah, now let's go ahead and watch... Let's go tune into one of the Wild Arms 2 episodes, actually. Um, which one do I want to watch? I'm just trying to run through the game in my mind real quick. Um, here you go, Cannon. Cannon is a very, very good character, so yeah, let's go ahead and show off the old learning trick real quick. I actually didn't really know about this too, too much. Maybe the actual trick or whatever. I might know bits and pieces of it, but I really can't remember. All I do when I did Cannon, I did all our moves immediately. And including Eater Claw, Eater Claw and all that, so. <laughs> yeah, overpowered? Nah, of course not. Hello, viewers, this is Rise. Welcome back to Let's Play uh, Wild Arms 2. Well, um, on your way out from Irving there, you do get a tutorial that explains very poorly how to learn Kanan's abilities. Ah, annoying buffer tower. It's probably, um, I'll, I'll, let's, I'll, let's, I'll, I'll let's sit for a little bit. Yeah, the thing is, yeah, with Cannon, um, uh, I know where Rise will explain in a second anyway, but while it's buffering, I'll actually just go ahead and help him out a little bit, um. Pretty much it, for Cannon's moves, yeah, there's a tutorial there that tells you a little bit about it, but it's a pretty crappy explanation. <clears throat> but essentially, and Cannon starts out with three moves, or uh, abilities, um, Left Edge, Pike Kick, and Drive Cut. Um, you, um, you use those in battle, and then you have a chance of sparking a new move, like a, a new, more powerful move. Like, um, Left Edge can spark to either, like, Wire Fist or Arc Kick, I think. I can't remember the ones exactly, but, um, yeah, using weaker moves... Well, will spark uh, new, more powerful moves. Like, not, not the more you use them; it's, it's a matter of luck, really. And then, as you start to learn more powerful moves, um, the percentage chance gets lower and lower and lower. So, to learn our best one, Eater Claw, you have to use our second best attack called Phalanx. It's um, it takes 90 FP to use, but um, you only have like, I think a one or two percent chance of learning it in battle when you use it. And uh, I think I'm forget if that if that's like if it's best luck involved or good or whatever that's related to, but um. Yeah, the higher luck you have, the better chance you'll get them. But yeah, her skills are really, really powerful, actually. So actually, let's go and uh, watch the video a little bit more. It's buffered a little bit now. If, I, if the video will actually work. Very poorly how to learn Kanan's abilities. As well as a tutorial explaining how to... How to, uh... With the little... I mean, he keeps, keeps all, all the throughout the game, IP too. she has That's does... Um, Kanan has, um, this thing, and uh, when she joins your party, you get access to her sonar. It's... Yeah, see, I the sonar right there. See in the bottom left, right there. The little green dot right there. That it's an area that you haven't revealed yet. You just search around it, and you can find it. So I don't think you actually need to, uh, talk to anybody to learn the location of anything anymore. Except for, I think, a couple areas, but... Whatever, we want to teleport to Damson, and, um... Yeah, you want to make sure that you have best luck, if possible. I mean, you, if you don't, just... Use the tiny flower you stole from Judeca if oh, you yeah, stole it to... I'd even catch this um, description right down here, actually, to explain like, the moves and all that. Yeah, wire fist, lay left edge to wire fist and arc kick, or pike kick, and so on and so forth. But yeah, once you get cannon, you can actually take the time to learn all these moves immediately. It doesn't really take that long, actually. Well, it might take longer than others, just, just because it's, it's luck-based, but it's definitely worth it in the end. So there you go, guys. I think with that, I'll cut the end. This will be the end of this uh, shout out. So Ryzen, hope you've enjoyed this, buddy. And you need to come back from your hiatus, too, by the way. I want to watch your Wild Arms 3 LP very, very much. So with that, guys, this has been Iron Movie signing off of episode 7 of my weekly shout out series. And next week, I'll be reviewing Fear Master 129. So with that, guys, this has been Iron Movie signing off. Have a nice day, and thanks for watching.